Since spring is here already, I have decided to create a look based on Julia Adams' latest video and I will make sure to post it right here and I will link her video down below as well. She created this nice beautiful look and I'm excited to try it. So let's get started. I have a lot of, I mean I do have some of the things she does mention in the video and she does use, but if not, don't worry, you don't need to go buy them. You have to use the stuff that you have in your collection. So don't go spend the money on the things that she has. You can easily replace them with things in your makeup collection. So let's get started. Okay, so for my brows, I've used my Gwen Stefani brow pencil. I don't know how you say this brand. GXVE, which is Gwen Stefani's um, brand. Now, I have a couple of red spots and I'm going to use my Givenchy Prisma Libre Skin Caring Corrector, the green one, just to kind of diffuse this red spot. And then we're going to go in with a primer. So you can use your finger with this. Okay. <laughs> Let's make sure that we diffuse them with a brush. So for primer, I'm going to use my regular primer, which I really love. Um, I think today I'm going to go with the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury because the foundation I'm going to use, it is quite dewy. So I'm so excited to try this spring makeup look. I'm going to create a nice easy to do eye routine which I haven't tried before so I'm excited. I like to try new things and I love Julia Adams. She's just such an inspiration and I've been following her forever and I just I don't miss a video she posts so I'm excited to try this makeup look of hers. Wow that's already so dewy. Okay so Next, she goes in with a Clinique foundation and the one that I have is the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. This has an SPF of 15. I already have my SPF 50 from Supergoop. So make sure that you don't just rely on the 15 when you apply it to your face. I'm going to go with this much. And again, this is a very nice and glowy foundation. It's more like serum-y. But the one she uses, I really want to purchase that one. It's by Clinique as well. And I think I, I really love Clinique foundations a lot. So I'm going to go in with my Rare Beauty brush at first. It provides enough coverage to cover the imperfection as you can see. And it gives it a nice natural glow as well. So now I'm going to go with my beauty sponge. This is by Co Beauty. And make sure we eliminate any brush strokes. Make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, so from what I remember from the video, now I'm going to go in with the LYS concealer. And this is, did I tell you the shade, the Clinique shade is in the shade CN28 Ivory. And the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer is in the shade LN6. So let's go ahead and conceal. She does use the new Maybelline concealer. It's like a pink one and I don't have that one unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to use this one. So, so pretty, so ready for spring. Okay, so next I think she goes in with, I think she uses the Milk, the new Milk Contour Stick and the new Tower 28 Bronzer. But I'm going to use my Westman Atelier Contour Stick. So let's contour with this one first. This is in the shade Biscuit, is my favorite. I'm just going to slowly contour and then we are going to use another bronzer so i'm going to use the bk beauty 109 brush perfect brush for all of this cream products look how nice and natural this contour stick is it's just i will definitely repurchase it if i run out of it this is my favorite i know it's expensive but it's really worth it so pretty and then i don't have the new tower 28 bronzer however i do have the tower 28 bronzino west coast which is a little bit more sparkly and shiny 
than the actual than the other new bronzer but I don't know I think for this let's use the sponge and try apply this one this is just gonna give it a nice enhancement to the skin add a little bit more glow maybe we should use the brush let's try use the same brush by PK Beauty Yeah, so this is a little bit more red, which is fine. A little bit goes a long way. And then we're gonna go with the blushes. So she has the House Labs blush, but I have two blushes here. One is the Glossier Cloud Paint, and this is in the shade Puff. And I also have a new blush by Co Beauty, and this is in the shade Pink Passion, which is similar to, maybe I should go, I also have the Dior one. So let's go in with the cream blush first, and then we're gonna see which one we're gonna add on top. So this is the pink, it's very subtle. Should have added the highlighter first. So let's go in with the same brush by BK Beauty. This is such a perfect shade for spring. It looks really nice. And it's very healthy looking. And you can see how nicely it just blends. There's no patchiness. It doesn't lift up the foundation underneath. So it looks really pretty. And I think on top, I'm gonna go with the Dior one. I'm gonna go with the Dior Backstage in the shade pink. And let this dry a bit. So I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush. because her blush is more mattifying. So we're gonna come back to this blushes later on. Let's go ahead and add highlighter and she uses the Rare Beauty highlighter. Mine is in the shade Enlighten. Hers is the one that's a little bit more pink, but I don't have that one. And I think I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 110 brush. so pretty this is very intense so be careful you see that oh just gorgeous gorgeous highlighter i love this one now she goes into a um, powder and the powder she uses is i think it's huda beauty but i'm gonna use my givenchy powder and just powder the face and she uses a nice pink puff and i'm gonna use my beauty blender puff Oh, so pretty. This powder is just perfection. You can see that it just perfects your skin without eliminating that nice glowiness that comes from within. So that's it for powder. Now let's move on to the eyes. Oh, I'm excited about this part. So she uses a Huda Beauty Topaz palette, I believe, but it's the new one that she came out with. But I have the old one, the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette and here are the shades. They look very for ready for fall but we're gonna use two shades out of this and then I will show you what we're gonna do next. So I'm gonna go into this shade. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see better. So make sure that your eyelids are not creasing and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and she adds this kind of uh, in the transition and above here. So all I have is foundation and the concealer, I think, on the eyelid. I don't have anything else. It's a very soft transition shade. Then from what I remember, she goes into a shade like this. Probably hers is a little bit more warmer. So I'm just going to go slow and add this. She adds it, adds it in the transition and then brings it down here. So she focuses most of the color on the outer corner here. She's just so good. She's so good at blending and creating this eye looks. I don't know. And then I believe next, let me check her video. Oh yeah, okay. So next she goes into the bottom lash line here. And with the same dark shade, she grabs a pencil brush. This is the BK Beauty 210 brush. 
and she adds this shade only here. So only in the middle of the eye, not outside there. And she said this is a good trick if you do have sensitive and watery eyes to just do this portion of the eye and not bring it outwards or inwards. Next, she, she uses a pencil like this. I think I have an Essence one too. Yeah, this is the ColourPop gel pencil in the shade Honey Dude. We'll see if this works. And then she intensifies this outer area here. And connects it to the to her eye and then grabs a brush and kind of defines this line it's very interesting so then she grabs a clean brush that has an angle like this this is a big this is a blink brush e6 and then you just kind of clean this corner so if you don't have a gel pencil you can see how nice this eye is defined compared to this one you can use your concealer and an angled brush you don't want to go with a white one. You want to go with a cream, like off-white, like this one. Like that, and then we're going to go with this angled brush and just kind of clean it. That's such a great trick, and it's easier to use a um, liner like this than a concealer, because concealer, you can go in with a little bit too much. Now, here is the tricky part. She goes into a Makeup Forever pencil. I don't have the shade she has. All I have is Endless Cacao and Anywhere Caffeine and I think I'm gonna go with the Anywhere Caffeine and then she creates this liner here. So let's go ahead and try it. So she just connects the top lid and follows that line and then brings it out here. Again, this is a lip liner, so I, but I think you can use it for eyes and lips, like that. And then we're gonna go back into that palette and with a very defined brush, I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 208 brush. This is my favorite brush from BK Beauty because it's so easy to do an eyeliner. I'm gonna go into this darker one and connect it with the other one we used and just intensify this. So with the Makeup Forever, we just created the outline basically, just like that. So I'm gonna go quickly do the same thing on this eye and I will be right back. Okay, so now that both eyes are kind of equal, so let's move on to the bottom lash line. So I think she uses the same pencil and intensified this line that she created. So again, don't connect it. You can also use the Makeup by Mario pencil, but I'm using whatever she kind of uses, the brand she uses in the video. A good one is the Makeup by Mario Pro Pigment pencil. This is in the shade brown and also black, but in this case, you need brown. A good off-white eyeliner from the drugstore that I recommend is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eyeliner and this is in this is up to 16 hours wear. This is in Silky Nude. So this is very similar to the ColourPop one that we cleaned the eyes with here. So but if you don't have the ColourPop one, this is a good alternative. Okay, so let's go and finish the inner corner of the eyes. Now she uses some other cream eyeshadows, but what I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna pour some of this pink shade by Glossier on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and apply this in the inner corner. So you can see this is quite light, so don't worry, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Just like that to add that tint of pink and then let this dry and then with a, another brush we're gonna go into the Dior one. We're gonna use the Dior blush and add on top of this. So I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 203 brush and just grab some of the product. <sighs> of course you can use this with eyeshadows, but she uses the blushes in this case. And look at that, it looks just like hers with different products.
So it's good to use the Glossier one before because it kind of creates that sticky barrier for the powder eyeshadow to stick to. Ooh, it's so pretty. Now we're gonna go in with mascara. The mascara she has is the Rare Beauty one, I believe. I don't have that one. But I'm gonna use a brown mascara and I'm gonna use my favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous Brown Balm Mascara. So let's do one eye on camera. Now I'm gonna do the bottom lashes like that. So this is how the eye looks with the mascara on. Ooh, I love it. And then it just brightens up and opens up the eye a bit more by creating this type of eye look. So I'm gonna quickly finish this eye with the mascara, enjoy this intermission, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a close-up of how the eyes turned out. What do you guys think? What she does, Julia also adds some fake lashes to make them a little bit more puffy, which looks really nice. But I'm afraid of adding lashes. I never wear fake eyelashes because I'm afraid of the glue. I'm afraid anything that goes close to my eye. So all I'm going to leave it with is mascara. And then let's move on to lips and let's play with some interesting lip techniques. Okay, so for lips, I th she uses the um, Lanolin Nipple Cream. So she talks about this nipple cream. You can also use this on your lips. So it's basically a very strong type of Vaseline. That's what it looks like. Has no shade, nothing. So I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to go in with a Dior Lip Glow. She uses something else, but I think I want to add a little bit on top of this to create that mm, a little bit of color. You can see how juicy the lips look with that lanolin. And you can use that anytime, all the time. It actually helps your lips if they're cracked or dry. It actually provides a lot of moisture. And I was going to go with my lip glow oil as well, but I think we're pretty glowy. And then she goes into the actual blush. So into this blush, uses the finger and adds it on top. Now I'm going to use another finger. I don't want to wreck the blush. So I think that did something. Let's add a little bit more. Like that in the middle. Of course, you don't have to do that, but I think she uses all these techniques with kind of the same products to tie in all of the colors together with the cheek, the eye, and the lip. It's like a perfect combo. Another option is you can use any type of pink lip balm, pink lipstick. A nice one is the Clinique Pep Start. This is a very nice pink that will go really good on the lips. So that's another good one. You can go in with the lip glow oil. You can go in with the glossy cloud paint and put on the lips. There's many options. And here is the final look. What do you guys think? You see how nice the lips turned out as well? Mm. I'm not going to use a lip liner. You can if you want, but I think for this type of juiciness and hydration, I'm not going to use a lip liner. And I think everything turned out so good. I love this technique. This technique that she created where you apply a little bit of a nice eyeshadow liner, very soft with the sharp pink in the middle and the, I mean in the inner corner and then the nice only like half an inch of eyeliner leaving this gap here. I love it. I love this technique so much. I have to use it a little bit more. So anyways, this was a, I followed a Julia Adams makeup tutorial or makeup look for spring. I hope this was fun and you enjoyed it. I'm going to have her video link down below as well. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.